how to customize your Shopify website. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on how to customize your Shopify storefront, your website that you have to sell more products. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to your Shopify store. This is my store right here. This is our Shopify admin, right? So this is where we get. Now, I want to show you how to customize your Shopify store to make it look professional, to showcase the products that you have. Um, so when it comes to selecting a theme, uh, you will be able to add better images. In Shopify, we can customize everything. You will be able to add your products, create collections, and showcase your products in the best way to sell. Um, so first, you get to your Shopify store here. You're going to go to the sales channel, and here we have online store. Once you select online store, then you have to select themes. So once you select themes, you will land right here. Once you get to themes here, you have to click on customize. But before that, you can select a theme of your choice. You can see we have a lot of different themes available on Shopify. And this kind of like determines the customization of your shop uh, that you will be creating and how your website will turn out. So you can see we have Dawn theme, we have Refresh Crab. These are some of the free themes that you can go for. So I have selected Dawn here. And now we will click on customize. Once you click on customize, it takes you to your store and the customization. You can see we have uh, to select the page first. We have different pages with the theme. We have a home page. We have product, collection, collection list, pages, uh, blogs. Then we have cart and checkout. So you select the uh, you know page from here and then you customize it. Once the page is selected, we can customize the theme. We can change the logo, colors, typography, layouts, buttons, inputs, uh, blog cards, collection cards, media, icons, social media, card, everything can be uh, customized from here. And then we have embeds here where I will be able to embed different widgets and apps. So in sections, what happens is that we have different section on a page. You can see uh, this is like the basic. We have a banner image here. Then we got the featured products. Then I can scroll down to check out the footers. So we can add different sections here. First, let's customize uh, this. For that, we can change the, you know, image that we have. So you select this section and you can see it says first image and then it says second image. So we're going to select the image from here. You can upload image from your media, of course, from your library. You will upload the images here. I'm going to quickly do that and add it here. So you can see our first image has been uploaded. This is the image and this is what it looks like. This is the banner image. Then we have to enter a second image as well. So we're going to click on select image so that there is a second image added. So our second image has been added to. We can add two images in the banner as well or one. So I went with two and you can see this is what it looks like. Now this is image banner, but we do not want to add this heading. We will add our store name. So this is a brand that I have and I will add the name. Perfect. Then we have our text. So the text I will change as well and we will add our tagline. So I have added something like this and you can see this is what it says. Then we have a button so we can customize the buttons in our Shopify store very easily. You select the button and then it says shop all or you can add any kind of text. For instance, I'm going to actually change it to shop now. Then we have the link to add to the button. So I have added all of the products. The button takes you to my product page. Then we can move on to the next section, which is the featured uh, products. So I will select this collection and here we have the heading, which says featured product and we have the heading size, which is small. Then I can scroll down. We have the collection. It shows all of the products. It's good. Uh, maximum products to show. So it has up to eight. Then we have number of columns on a desktop. Then we have style. We have background scheme. Uh, we have product. Then we have like a mobile layout. It's going to be two in the mobile. Then we have padding, section padding and bottom padding as well. So we can actually customize everything here very easily. You can make it a little bit smaller or bigger. The products here that we have. Now, this is our section and we can, of course, customize it. This is where the products will be shown. After that, we can add uh, more sections to it. We have the product section and we have like banner image products. Then I want to add a video, let's say. So what we will do is we'll go to the add section here. You can see in the template section uh, after featured collection, I'm going to click on add and we can add rich text, collection list, uh, image, slideshow, collage and more. So I'm going to click on show more and here we will have videos. 
So I will enter the video section and it will allow me to add a video to my uh, home page. So this is the video here. Click on the video section and now we can change it. So the heading says video. I'm going to uh, delete the heading. I do not want to add any kind of heading here. And this is where I will enter the URL of the video that we have on YouTube. So the URL has been added and now we can select an image to image as a thumbnail. So I will select the image. So our video image uh, has also been added. So I'll just go back now. This way I can add more sections to it. And then we have our footer. So you can see this is the footer now. We just have our email. Uh, so within my footer, I can change, I can add social media icons. We can add our country and region. Uh, we can add a language selector. We can add a payment method. So all of these footers will be added right here uh, once we publish our store. So I can go back. You can see the footer headings can be done here. And again, I can add more sections to it. And once you add a section, you can add more blocks to it. So for instance, we have this image banner here. This is the, um, you know, section. And then this section has a text. It has a body text and then it has a button and we can add up to uh, three blocks per section. Then I can, of course, customize the design a little bit. If you want to change the colors of your theme and if you want to change the typography, you'll be able to do so from here. If you want to change the button colors, the size, then you will do from the button section within your uh, theme settings. At the top here, we have these three dots where we have edit code. So if you want to change, um, you know, Shopify with coding, you want to edit with coding, you can uh, click right here. Then we have edit default theme content, view and view documentation. Click on view and it'll show you you your store you give you a preview then we have the next page which is the product so now this is how you customize all of your different pages that you have on shopify uh, you will have your home page product collection and then we have the blog if you want to add it you can or you can delete the blog pages very easily then we have cart and checkout page available so once your website is customized you can just click on save make sure to click on save so that all of the changes that you did are saved on your website so i'm going to click on save and this way I customize my store one by one as I add more products. Once the products will be added, you can publish your website really easily uh, and you get your own domain, which is myshopify.com. But you can also connect your um, own custom domain or the domain that you have bought connected to your Shopify store and you will have your own website. You can see this is what the website looks like now. I have changed it a little bit for you guys. And you can see we can customize our store really easily by just going to the theme section here and click Clicking on customize. Once your store is customized, you will be able to showcase your products and sell more products to build your brand and grow your business. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification, and subscribe to YouTube channel.